Hi and welcome to my channel and today to another update of uh, six weeks of zero waste. And today I don't have that much sh stuff that I could show you. I have experiences that I had <laughs> to tell you. Um, and the thing is I visited Lush Cosmetics um, this weekend because I was uh, downtown Cologne and there's a Lush store there and I've been watching um, a lot of YouTube videos where people were talking about Lush and their products and they, they are without package. And I just wanted to get an idea of, of what what's there, what do they have. <laughs> it was amazing! So if, if we don't have to go no poo and we don't have to make all our stuff ourselves because Lush has almost everything. It's totally amazing. And I would love to do a Lush haul but I didn't buy anything because I still have most of the stuff that I'm using. I'm just, you know, using it up. And to not be afraid of using my stuff up and not to know what to do after that, I wanted to get an impression what Lush has. And it was amazing. So there was a really nice, really nice vending lady there. And she showed me the, the whole... Uh, <laughs> the whole... I don't, I don't know the word. Everything that Lush sells and uh, talked to me about it and gave me all the, the information and everything about it. And they have, not only do they have shampoo bars, um, they also have conditioning bars. And they have lotion bars. And they have uh, toothpaste tablets. And they have... What else do they have? Um, they have sunscreen bars although that's packed in a little plastic and whenever Lush uses plastic it's the, they have these little black uh, containers uh, when you collect five containers you can return them to Lush and then get a free face mask or something like that um, as an incentive to get you to get uh, bring those things back to Lush and not recycle them in your own bin <laughs> or something like that um, that was that was really nice. Um, most of the stuff at Lush is vegan, and uh, like 60% of it is even uh, unpackaged, I would say. And they have a whole catalog, <laughs> which they gave to me. Uh, this is German for uh, the naked truth. There's all their naked, their all their unpackaged products are in here, and it's amazing. <laughs> If you're in the UK, it's even more amazing because in the UK they have stuff that they don't sell in Germany, uh, which is uh, they also have. Uh, I'm going to show you that lipstick that is not in plastic, not in a package, but in a bar. <laughs> it's only available in the UK, and they also have eyeshadow like that, which is in a bar and not in. Um, um, what was I going to say? in a plastic um, container and it's amazing <laughs> I'm just totally amazed by that I wish I had, could have bought everything but I'm way too rational for that um, I'm, I'm going to use my stuff up before I buy anything new but that Lush really got me with with that uh, I've never really been there um, I th think regarding cosmetics there's so much out there uh, plant-based cosmetics and cruelty-free cosmetics and there's so many manufacturers out there that it's so hard to decide what you use and when you found a brand that you like you basically stick to that and so I never went to see what Lush has but now that I'm package-free I'm anxious to try out their stuff but this is really amazing and if you're in the UK I totally envy you <laughs> been thinking about going to sh doing doing a shopping trip to to London just to just to check out Lush over there. But I still have um, eyeshadow and uh, stuff, so so I probably won't have to do that. Yeah, the other thing um, is regarding my my the trash I have collected so far in the past six weeks. And before I was like. I don't want to throw it away because it's still useful. I can still, you know, carry stuff around me, uh, <laughs> around with me in a in a um, package, in a plastic package, whatever. I'm getting more and more scared actually 
of the ingredients in plastic and I haven't personally I haven't read a study on that yet um, I haven't really tried to find one and I don't really know where to look for one because I'm a med student I know where to find medical studies I don't know where to find biological or chemical or that kind of studies they might even be in there um, but maybe not I haven't really looked for the studies but I've been watching movies usually YouTube movies uh, about plastic and all that kind of stuff and there's always um, um, a scientist in there either a toxicologist or a biologist or a chemist or whatever and they all have the information on how disturbing to the body um, those ingredients can be the BPA or the the phthalates and, and all that kind of stuff and I'm, I'm I don't know if I if I want to touch plastic at all anymore, or if I want my food to touch plastic. I'm really unsure about that. If I should just throw it away, which means put it into recycling, really, and not buy any, possibly, uh, not buy any new plastic at all. I also found a really nice store in downtown Cologne that only sells products for, for either the kitchen, the garden, the office, the wherever, only made of uh, natural materials like wood or marble <laughs> or uh, metal or something like that, um, which is really expensive but really nice. And I was like, yeah, if I make money someday, I'm going to buy everything there. Uh, really lovely. Uh, the the, the story store is called Granite. I think. I don't know if they have branches all over the world or not. Um, I'm going to link to that if I can find it internationally. Yeah, on to my trash. So, this is all my plastic trash uh, of the last six weeks. And um, this is basically, well, I, <laughs> I don't know how to put it. It's, it's more or less not my waste anymore because I don't have waste anymore. I have plastic leftovers that is still useful if you want to use this and I'm still thinking about if I want to reuse it because uh, the chemicals in there are going to leak furthermore if I put something in there, won't they? This was, it's basically the same stuff as last week, this um, cleaning product is empty, my shampoo that is empty because it's actually it's a really nice bottle, I like this bottle but I don't wanted to leak chemicals into my body. <laughs> this is uh, the package of lentils. This is kind of new. It's it's not plastic, it's glass, but it's a container. So um, within the past couple of weeks, this box that was originally my trash now is a box with containers. Containers of all sorts and sizes and materials really so this is one I could use still use uh, put put other uh, herbs in there or something like that uh, this I'm using frequently um, the package of uh, the uh, red lentils this used to be my um, detergent it's too small for the self-made detergent though this was buckwheat flour this is still the Amazon bag uh, this is really new there were hemp seeds in there, it's empty now and it's actually kind of carton but there's also plastic in there and I don't know what to do with it but I could still use it so I'm keeping it. This was in my freezer for the past three weeks I think there was bread in there, I froze some bread and uh, the bread is empty now so I have another um, plastic bag. This was interesting because <laughs> this, this is an empty um, cream sorbet for your skin. It it was a tester at the health food store that I work at, and I got that um, as a gift. And the liquid is actually not in here, but it's in a plastic bag that is attached to the lid. So to refill this, I could just you know cut it, cut the plastic off, and put new liquid in there, and I would have a nice. Um, dispenser for whatever thing I want to use. So I'm keeping that too. Uh, this is of course glass. It's a really expensive German Annemarie Berlin. 
um, cosmetic uh, brand. This I haven't used in six weeks, so I probably am going to toss that. It's an empty can of tomato sauce. Can't use it anymore. This is my mascara. Uh, this is for, used to be for herbs. This I found somewhere. Um, I haven't have bought that uh, years ago. I found it and I'm um, still keeping it. This was red lentils and this is basically, this is the real trash <laughs> that I made uh, in the last week. These were packages of ovulation tests. This was a sample of a cosmetic brand and this Alitz from beer. Uh, I had a friend over, that's not, <laughs> not all just mine. All right, yeah, I'm still thinking what I'm supposed to do. If I should completely toss all the plastic I have because of uh, dangerous chemicals in there that might get into my body and into my food and all that kind of stuff, or if I'm going to reuse all this stuff. I can't decide. Anyhow, what... So, what do you do? Do you toss all your plastic because it's dangerous? To just have it away from you and outside somewhere where animals can eat it and get killed by it and, and where it can pollute the earth or what do you do? This is <laughs> now it's there. What do I do with it? Do I reuse it? Do I toss it? I have no idea. Anyhow, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you don't want to miss any of my videos, please subscribe. I'll see you pretty soon. Bye.